hello 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 my friends welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my world cup draw review thank you so much for everybody that was there during the watch along on the global fan channel it was a very successful show please if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel do it because you are missing out on many many things the telephone line is there for everybody to call just win one click and you're gonna have your voice heard so the world cup today uh man can you believe it that we could be watching the last world cup with messi ronaldo and lewandowski all right Ronaldo is like a 37, Messi 34, Lewandowski 34. In four years, I don't think that they're going to play another World Cup or they're going to be mostly on the bench just to, to help the young generation. But this is uh, the last World Cup that we have to enjoy those goats. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Stay tuned because we're going to be live on the Global Fan Channel, you know. <laughs> watching along the world cup and uh, yeah join us so we're gonna discuss about all the groups and the two teams that i think will make it to the next round and uh, it's just my prediction you don't have to agree with me all you have to do is just to leave your comment and let me know what you think about uh, you know the whole situation right let's go Okay, my people. So we have Group A, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, Netherlands. I am going to say Senegal and Netherlands to qualify from this group. I feel sorry for Qatar as the host nation and Ecuador, very good country. But I think it's going to be Senegal, Netherlands, Ecuador, and Qatar, the last one. Group B. Hmm. England, Iran, USA, and the playoff from from Europe. It could be Ukraine or something. I hope it's Ukraine so they can uh, have something to celebrate after the war. You know what I mean? So this one is going to be very political. If you think other groups are a group of death, I think this one could be the group of death. Can you imagine if Ukraine, from the war and everything is happening, they come back and play in that group? Wow. England and the USA, we know the the, the story behind them. And uh, Iran against the USA or Iran against England, man, that is going to be the game that you don't want to lose. You know, it's for the flag, for the badge, and it's, it's the group of death. But if I had to choose, I would go USA and England to qualify because they have so much quality. But don't sleep on Iran. Iran might surprise people. And if they have to surprise somebody, let beat England. <laughs> let England get eliminated instead of the United States. So for me, it's going to be England, USA, Iran, and the playoff from euros unfortunately group c argentina saudi arabia mexico and poland i think argentina argentina to make it mexico also to make it poland they have lewandowski but beside lewandowski they struggle they have a lot of issues with the defense the midfield and all that and mexico man they are more a team okay the collective effort from a team i think they're gonna make it and then the third place is gonna be poland of course and the last one saudi group d france and uh, a, a team from the ic playoff denmark and tunisia france of course denmark christensen and uh, also let's say the story behind ericsson is awesome so i'm gonna go france Denmark, Tunisia, and then the the team from the IC playoff one. Sorry for my friend Tunisians. 
Okay, let's go. Group D. Hmm. Spain, IC Playoff 2, <laughs> Germany, and Japan. I will go. First of all, Germany. They have a great team. They have a young generation coming up now. So I think Germany are going to get the job done. Second, it's going to be Spain. Third, it's going to be Japan, unfortunately. And the last one is going to be the team from the IC Playoff number two. Okay, Group F, Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. Listen, there are two teams in this group that had a golden generation. I say had because they are fading away, okay? Belgium, <laughs> it's a shame that that kind of team couldn't win even a Mickey Mouse Cup. It would be a shame for them if they don't do anything in this World Cup. So I think Belgium to qualify. And then I will go with Canada, the second. Canada, very good team. They have nothing to lose. They are in the World Cup for the first time after I don't know how many years. I'm sorry, Croatia got a great team, Kovacic. Um, <clears throat> they have also uh, Modric and all that. But I think they are aging. And I want to see some surprise from this World Cup. So the surprise that I want to see is Canada. And uh, number three is going to be Croatia and Morocco, the last, unfortunately. <laughs> Group G, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon. Brazil, of course, we don't have to discuss about anything here. And then, hmm, my heart is telling me to go for Cameroon. But my head is telling me it's going to be Switzerland. So, uh, man, I'm going to go with Brazil, Switzerland, Cameroon, and then Serbia. <coughs> Group H, Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. <laughs> Why always Uruguay with uh, Ghana? Another handball from Suarez this time. The hand of God. I don't know what's going to happen, but Portugal, they have so much quality not to qualify for the next round. So I'm going to go with Portugal. The second one, I will go with Ghana, of course, because I want to create some. Um, I want to create some balance between continents, right? <laughs> so I will go with Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay and South Korea. There we go, guys. That is my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. And I'm not telling you this is what's going to happen. But this is just uh, the way I feel by the time I'm recording this video. Let's say <coughs> four months from now, some teams got injuries or something happened. Anything can change. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. God bless you, think outside the box, and I will see you next time. Yeah.